Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, flying from Kuala Lumpur on March 8th, lost connection with Subang air traffic control at 1.20 a.m. The plane was originally estimated to arrive in Beijing in the morning at 6.30. However, as of Wednesday afternoon, search crews were still unable to reach the flight. Senior managers at Malaysian Airlines say that the fuel on MH370 can last for only seven hours, which means that the aircraft is no longer in the sky. Chinese Minister of Foreign Affairs Wang Yi activated emergency response plans trying to relocate the lost plane. There were 239 passengers on board the flight, 154 of them Chinese. Some speculate that this was a terrorist attack, but that would be irresponsible to say now while facts are still being gathered. It is confirmed that there were at least two passengers using fake or stolen passports, but this is a, actually a fairly common method of emigrating illegally. Now, when a tragedy like this strikes without apparent cause, rumors often substitute for facts. Officials have not ruled out terrorism, but it's seeming increasingly unlikely at this point as an explosion would have been picked up by satellite imagery. Also, no group has claimed responsibility. Taiwan's Civil Aviation Administration claims that they received information from the International Anti-Terrorism Organization warning them that there might be terrorist attacks at Beijing International Airport. Photos from U.S. satellites show that the aircraft may have crashed near the Vietnamese coast, a rescue team sent by the U.S., China, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines announced that nothing so far has been found in the region. China's President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang are watching the situation closely and calling for the importance of flight safety. Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak says that they could not confirm that the plane crashed because no wreckage has yet been found. Experts say that the possibility that the plane was hijacked could not be excluded, even if radar signals suggest otherwise. Others believe that it may have broken apart in the air, but still, the answer remains hidden. Now, China and Malaysia have long been partners in aviation, and Malaysian Airlines was rated as a five-star company by Skytrax in 2013. The figures show that the passenger load factor in 2012 of the airline company stayed above 75%, while costs were reduced by more than 6 percent. Industry experts say that the incident may lead to reform in the industry in the near future. As many airline companies are reducing costs to stay profitable, does safety still remain the primary concern? This, of course, relates not only to the safety of aircraft itself, but also to security checks at airports. Interpol keeps a record of the millions of reported lost or stolen passports, but is rarely checked against passenger lists. Flying is always a risk, but this case is especially worrisome as the plane was already cruising at a high altitude. This is generally considered to be the safest part of the journey. As of now, rescue teams are still trying to search for clues as to what happened and why. BizWire, along with the Blue Ocean Network, sends our heartfelt regards to the families of the passengers on board Flight MH370. This is BizWire on BON. When we return with our Marketplace Report, we look at how China hopes to boost exports of its aviation products. We'll be right back.